Yo guys, welcome on in. Kiros here, and today I'm going to give you my advanced tips, and that usually means uh, past level 50, maybe past level 60, but these are some things that you really need to know. You may know some of them, you may not, so hopefully this uh, this helps you out. Hit the chapters down below, hit that like and subscribe, and by the way, thank you for the 20,000 subs on the channel. Mwah. Check out the Tower of Fantasy playlist, and let's get started. All right, guys, tip number one, stop using black crystals. No, I'm just kidding. That's not it. Tip one, fight. Uh, tip number one is actually not utilizing your guild properly uh, in, in what to buy from your guild. Now, make sure you guys are in a good crew. Crews do matter a lot. They, they're they going to help you accelerate your career, get gear, get uh, crystals, and a bunch of other things in there. But... What we're mainly talking about is that crew shop and the crew shop is very very key you'll actually see in my crew we haven't even upgraded past uh this store uh just yet because the other upgrades are a little bit more important and you're not really gonna be buying gold gear or purple uh gear out of here because it's just way too expensive what you guys should be buying are these shards shards are insanely important especially for trying to up our damage a little bit later bonus tip now two of the shards that i would be holding out for uh especially is the space time rift this is a good one to get and also the shield so just quickly looking at that real quick the reason why we say that is even though that a lot of these ssrs will be used that shield is very important but not until you get the five star i'm gonna move my face here and the reason why is that that five star when wanderers or allies pass through the omnium shield increases damage by 25 percent for seven seconds and the fact that it stays up for 20 seconds and has a cooldown of 60 seconds is going to be insane for your bygones so start working on that as soon as possible now the other one you do want to work on is the space time rift and this one's a little bit more important in the beginning so i would prioritize the space time rift first is because at two stars increases the uh or sorry at three stars increases the target dealt or the damage dealt to targets in the area by 20 percent so this is really going to insanely increase your damage and the cooldown only being a hundred seconds not too bad number two all right tip number two i want to talk about gear real fast now you can see i have a ton of gear mainly because we've been running a ton of joint operations and if you guys have uh, followed any of my suggestions when not doing joint operations to level 60, saving some vitality potions if you do spend a little bit of money in this game, and especially saving those joint supply chips, your, your gear should be going a pretty long way. Now, uh, speaking of that real quick, speaking of that, we have, I've been taking some interesting data. I will be having this in a follow-up video sometime later this week. But I've already done about 61 runs of only opening the third chest. And you can see that data right here is pretty interesting. I've already had 17 different gold equipments drop, 39 different purples drop. So we've had some really interesting results um, between the crew and a bunch of other people. But what I really want to talk about is two different points of gear. One is you guys should be focusing on your gloves and boots. And really, that's it. If you're free to play, I know you're going to want a piece of gold gear in every single slot, but that's really actually not going to increase your damage that much. It will increase your gear score or your CS, and that is important for your suppressor, but your biggest damage increase is really going to be a critical stat. Now, finding a pair of gloves and finding a pair of boots. Now, you can see my boots are just terrible. I'm still looking for another pair. I'm not upgrading this any further, and you can merge this piece into another piece and retain 80% of the EXP, but crit is so so important to the fact that like these are the two if you get a perfectly statted glove and boots aka it rolls into crit at least four out of five times you'll never replace those two pieces whether you go for volt whether you go for fire whether you go for physical whether you go for anything on your other pieces the only other pieces you would swap out are those and your gloves and boots would never swap out that's going to greatly increase your adaptability and your usability and your uh your your critical rate bonus tip uh speaking about where to get those let's just go quickly into joint operation now the two joint operations i would be focusing on are that deep sea proving grounds where you do see those boots on there not the best matrices in the world in my opinion but that's that's just the price you're going to have to pay for that one 
And then the other one that I would really, really farm is the Deep Sea Stronghold, which you've probably seen a, pun a bunch of pros in there or in whales or really good players in there just, just demolishing that, that uh, fight. But everything is to love here. You have gloves, you've got king, you got crow matrix. There's nothing not to love about this. So if you really want to increase your damage, this is the one to do for a very, very long time. Third tip. Okay, the next little point is going to be a little hard to follow, but stop recycling your gear unless you've got your perfectly static gear. So let me talk through that real quick. Now, one, you do not want to trade in gear typically. And in order to show that, let me show this real quick. Um, let's take this, for example. Let's take this headpiece, for example. If I was to enhance this headpiece right now, right, and just select this headpiece, I would get about 5,196. Now, that's not a really good example because this is a one star. You're only retaining 80%. So, for example, let's take 800 right here with this piece right here. Now, if I was to recycle this in order to get crystals for it to maybe be able to use for another piece of gear, it's really not optimizing your gear. And to show you that I can, uh, we can hit the recycle button. We're going to go ahead and hit that uh, uh, purple. Now this is very annoying. Let me uh, speed through this fast forward, please. Okay, now if I was to select this one piece of gear and hit recycle, it's gonna give me 80 crystal. Now you guys saw that we had 800 EXP from that. If I was to take 80 crystals, these crystals only give you five EXP and times that by five, you're only getting 400 EXP. That is insanely not worth it. But there is a reason to do this. Now, let me give you an example of why you would do this. A great example would be, let's take, for example, my shoulders. My shoulders actually rolled insanely good to the point that I'm really not going to look for another pair of shoulders for a very long time. So you're going to hit that five star set that you just, you're just going to love, right? It's just going to be perfect. Now this could have been a little bit better rolled one time into flame resistance, rolled one time into attack, which I'm okay with, but rolled three times in the volt attack, which I'm super, uh, super insane with. The only way you can get better is rolling five times or four times into volt attack which may take me a while to do. So what I would do in that case is I don't need, I don't need that EXP on my shoulders anymore. So I would actually select any shoulder uh, equipment that I get, and I would honestly recycle that. Now that's gonna give me 80 shards. Now, why is that really good to do? Now I can go over to say my chest piece. Maybe I don't have a ton of chest piece, which uh, apparently I've got a ton of chest piece, but you can see I have those 80 shards right here, and that's gonna help me level other equipment. So. The only time you are going to recycle is when you have have you're good enough, you hit a great piece of gear, and then you're just really trying to min max later. Um, once you have five stars across the board. One, two, three, four. Oof. All right. Next tip is you are buying way too many gifts. Now, gifts are really easy to get. Typically, if you've been doing your training every day and you're not super impatient. And you've been doing the you've been doing the Cetus uh, vending machine. You've been going to the black market as well. So you've been going to that support store or not support store, but uh, you've been going to the point store and buying your special gifts here to an extent. I want you to stop spending these points right here. Now, once you have a character that is already at 4K and you have maybe a few every now and then you will um, you're going to expand some. So let's go to a similar crime right now. You can see that I already have a 4K uh, Samir. I am good with that because Samir is probably one of the best talents in the game. If you're really good at not getting hit, there, there's no better uh, similar crime from a general perspective that's better than this. Now, Subasa's is really good, but it's not damage dealt. It's actually attack. So this is good if you aren't that good at dodging. And this is especially good if you're tanking. And there's a few other ones out there that are really worthwhile. Um, for example, Friggs is really good for a frost team, increases frost attack. So there's only times when you're making your meta teams that you would switch off Samir to maybe go to uh, Frigg once you've made that frost team, right? Why do I say to stop spending that real quick? Is because you're probably starting to run out of uh, uh, matrix packs, 
right? And Matrix Packs are really hard to come by without spending Dimension Trials. And you really don't want to spend Dimension Trials to get Matrix Packs. And you're going to get some from your Omnium Beacons as well. But that's really just not very optimized. i rather buy out these Matrix Packs every week, get myself 48, 50, 60, and help my way on that progression. Now, you are going to need a ton of them to the point that you may have to go into Dimension Trials uh, and actually farm that. But I do not, I'm not a big fan of doing Matrix um, uh, Dimension Trials. It's just, it's just not the optimal use of energy, typically, um, unless you have maxed out gear and you already have all the items you need going into the next stage of your weapons. So, stop buying gifts if you don't have to level anyone up. And even if you want to level up a second one, just get them naturally through Cetus over time. Bum, 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 bum. All right, now finally, my last two tips that I want to talk about, uh, and it's to just push you a little bit harder in bygones. Now, if you um, if you're doing these two tips, it'll probably it'll probably tip the stage if you're barely missing out on a few stages. And we all know that some stages are harder than others. So the first thing I want to say is that you should get fully prepared at the beginning of every fight. And what you can do is you could dodge backwards and use any healing weapon in order to start getting a charge. You can see my charge getting over there. Now, I should probably have done this with a little bit more time on the clock, but you can sit here and get um, get a really nice charge going. Now, the best part about this is that you can switch your set right after you're done, and it will hold your charge there. So make sure that you are switching to the right weapon. And then what I would do is another quick tip is that you can see that I was charging my weapon on... Um, on uh on this on the frost weapon and it's going to take place if that's the weapon you're using it's going to take place of where that is so in order to make sure you're starting on the right weapon now i i do want meryl to be here and the reason why i do want that is that that allows me to uh either use my nemesis or use my uh samir right out the gate which is going to help me out with my dps now the other thing you guys can do is um it's a little bit it's it's a little hard to do but you can use multiple relics. Now, this gets a little bit easier once you have better relics like the shield and the gravity well and stuff like that. But I like to use the Kant and the missiles mainly because they have a low cooldown and they give me more damage. But you can also get kicked out of the bygones because I'm talking too much. <laughs> All right, we're back before I was so rudely kicked out. <laughs> Anyways, but what you guys can do is you can start off with one set of matrix or one set of relics and then swap to your other set before you get there. Now, how much extra damage is this going to give you without it being the shield and a few others? Uh, it, it, it does give you a lot of damage, but um, it's just very hard to use. So like, for example, you could hit the tornado and then hit the hit that and then swap over to your right matrix start and you're going to get a little bit of damage on the tornado and you're going to get a little bit of damage on your uh your image there now if you the faster you can do that the more damage you're going to get you can see that it did not stay up very long but it does allow me to use all these extra uh, uh matrixes so it does give you a little extra damage and if you started with your ultimate it does give you a little bit more damage as well so your mileage may vary, especially until you can get the relics where you can uh, have extended duration, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 25 seconds, whatever those seconds might be, right? And that's going to give you a little bit more bang for buck on uh, trying to push the gambit of trying to get through some of those levels. Like maybe you're you're a quick level off. Bum, 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 bum. All right, guys, that's all I got. Uh, hopefully those tips help you out at all. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they will. Uh, let me know in the comments on maybe other videos that I need to do. I know there's a lot I probably need to do. Probably uh, maybe a new uh, Simulacrum video on some of the new characters coming out with all the characters we have. Uh, maybe I should do an equipment guide a little bit more. Maybe I should do a 20 to 70 progression guide. Uh, there's a bunch I could probably do. So hit me up. Let me know. And I do appreciate you guys watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and fist bump from me to you.